A few words on aggregation and composition. These are both particular kinds of association in UML. Suppose we were building some kind of system for a university which was going to involve co classes called degree, for example, the software engineering degree, and courses, for example, SEOC. What should the relationship between degree and course be? Well, obviously they're related. We want to be able to express the real world fact that CEOC, the course CEOC, is part of the degree software engineering. But more than that, really the course CEOC is part of the degree software engineering. We can show that using the aggregation sign, which is a diamond at the end of an association. And the rest of the association shown exactly as usual. Now, the thing I can't emphasize too strongly is that any time an aggregation is correct, so is a plain association. So it would always be correct to eliminate that diamond and just replace it by a plain association. But the diamond is showing a bit more information, which is often a useful thing to do. We're showing that there's a conceptual sense in which um, a course object is part of a degree object. Now, this is a kind of non-exclusive part of. There's nothing here to stop a course object also being part of a different degree object. And we could show that using multiplicities if we wanted. Okay, so the degree has courses as, part, as parts, but it doesn't strongly own its parts. I should say that there's a great deal of disagreement about exactly what aggregation should mean and exactly what, what composition should mean. Um, I'm giving you a reasonable rough idea, I hope. Let's go on and consider composition. That was aggregation. That's the open white diamond. Okay. Composition is a stronger relationship, and I'm going to use here the example of the relationship between a car and its wheels. Now, clearly, an aggregation is correct. A car contains its wheels. But this is a stronger relationship. It doesn't make sense for a wheel to be simultaneously part of more than one car object. And if you destroyed the car, you would also destroy its wheels. Okay? Or if you copied the car, you would also copy its wheels. And it's facts like that which tell you that this is a composition relationship. Okay? So it's a stronger relationship, and it's shown using a black diamond like this. 